Greetings to you all. I'm Abdullah Tasis Rahmani, and today we are going to talk about the circulatory system. Now, what is the circulatory system? The circulatory system has two major things, and they are the blood vessels and the heart. This is the heart and the blood vessels. The blood vessels are the series of collecting and distributing tubes. So let's talk about the heart. The heart is a muscular organ, hollow muscular organ, that pumps the blood. It's a pumping organ, which is uh, situated in a thoracic region uh, in between two lungs. Now, uh, let's dig deep into the heart. This is the heart. So, uh, actually, the heart pumps the blood. This, we have this thing. This is the superior vena cava, and this is the inferior vena cava. What does these, what, what do they do? The superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. The inferior vena cava collects the blood of the um, bottom half of our body, and the superior vena cava collects the blood upper uh, upper half of our body. Like, like uh, it uh, uh, brings um, the blood from the nose, uh, from uh, these arms, from the fingers, from the brain, from uh, the hair and all. Then when we collect the deoxygenated blood, impure blood, then it goes into the right atrium. And also this is going to be my left side and this is going to be my right side. Actually, this should be my right side, but this is the left side and this is the right side. So. It goes into the right atrium. From the right atrium, it passes the tricuspid valve. It has three cusps. I don't have a, uh, I have only two hands. I don't have three hands. So that I cannot show. It has three cusps. It opens and closes, opens and closes. It has three cusps. Then it goes into the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, it contracts and ejects, ejects the pulmonary artery from the pulmonary artery it goes to the left right pulmonary artery and to the left pulmonary artery the left pulmonary artery takes the blood deoxygenated blood to the lungs the left pulmonary artery takes it to the left lung and the right pulmonary artery takes it to the right lung right lung so uh, why does it go to the right lung and the left lung so we're going to talk about that it goes to the lungs to get ox oxygenated. It wants to get clean. It wants to get pure. We want to have pure blood in our body. It, it, uh, it uh, exchanges the oxygen and leaves the carbon dioxide, which is uh, in the blood, in the oxygenated blood. Then from the lungs, it comes back. We have two right hand, the pul pulmonary artery and left pulmonary artery. They carry deoxygenated blood to the heart. Now we have four kind of pulmonary veins. I I have only shown two because there are the two are on the back side. Pulmonary vein, these are two, the pulmonary vein. The oxygenated blood comes from these two veins, pulmonary veins. It goes it goes into the left atrium. Then it passes the bicuspid wall. Bicuspid wall means only two cusps. It has only two cusps. It's also called the mitral valve or the atrioventricular valve. It passes and goes into the left ventricle. From the left ventricle, it contracts again and ejects the semilunar valve or the uh, or the or arctic uh, wall. It's this is the iota. It goes to the iota, but oxygenated blood. Then the iota gives the blood to the whole body. This is the process of the heart. And also, the we have three kinds of blood vessels. The three kinds of blood vessels are the arteries, the veins, and the capillaries. Arteries usually carry oxygenated blood, not towards the heart. It's opposite. It doesn't take it to the heart. It takes it away from the heart. And the veins carry deoxygenated blood towards the heart. Now, only the ex exception is 
the right pulmonary artery and the left pulmonary artery, these two kind of pulmonary artery carry the oxygenated blood. And then the pulmonary veins, which we have four, uh, which I already mentioned, they carry oxygenated blood. But, but what do the veins carry? Deoxygenated, but these four veins only carry oxygenated blood. But we don't have millions of them. Veins are millions of them, but these are only four. And the superior and the inferior vena cava is the largest vein in our body. So I was telling we have three kind of blood vessels. The artery takes blood away from the heart, oxygenated, and the vein takes oxygen deoxygenated blood towards the heart now we uh, you may ask a question uh, then what are capillaries what are capillary capillaries as i already told the arteries the arteries give blood even in a nail but the smaller places where arteries and veins cannot reach then we use the capillaries the capillaries are used for taking blood into small spaces where arteries and veins cannot reach. So, as I already told, the blood vessels are the series of contributing and distributing tubes. So, let's revise what we uh, have in the heart. We have the superior rana cava and the inferior rana cava which collects blood. Then the right atrium, the, uh, when the blood, deoxygenated blood from legs, thighs, and this bo bottom half of a body collects inferior in a cava. Top half of a body, the mouth, the uh, teeth, the nose, the hair, this hair collects the superior in a cava. But deoxygenated blood, why do they collect it? To get it oxygenated but we have we have more process going on to get it to the lungs it goes into the right atrium it passes the tricuspid wall which has three cusps it contracts and ejects the pulmonary artery which carries deoxygenated blood right arteries carry oxygenated blood but only the exception is these two arteries carry the pulmonary arteries carry deoxygenated blood the left pulmonary artery takes deoxygenated blood towards the lungs left lung and this takes to the right lung right lung to get it exchanged with oxygen and uh, exhale carbon dioxide like we took oxygen gave it here gave it give it to the blood exhale carbon dioxide which we had in the blood all year it comes back from the pulmonary vein, carries oxygenated blood. That's very good. We have four of them. Left atrium, bicuspid valve, mitral valve, or atria, ventricular valve. Contracts and ejects the semilunar valve or the orphic valve, iotic sort valve, through the aorta, and the aorta has three tubes and give it to, give us, gives to the whole body. From the head to the toe. That's all for today. See you. Bye-bye.